Today we're going to make meringues. There's three simple ingredients used for making meringues. Firstly, we have eggs, but actually we only use the egg whites. This will give us protein. Next, we use castor sugar, and that will provide us with sugary carbohydrates. And lastly, we use vanilla essence, which will help with the flavouring, but no nutritional value. The first stage is to make the egg whites. Firstly, we pick up our eggs, we check we have the line mark, we check the date, we check there are no cracks on the egg. We place the egg in the palm of our hands, one hard sharp crack, and then we pull the eggs apart. To be able to separate the white, we need to catch the egg yolk in half of the egg. We then drain off the egg white, and then we pop it back into the other side, allowing the rest of the egg yolk to drain off. At this stage, any egg yolk going into here will spoil your foam. You have checked there is no egg yolk in there, then you place it into the glass bowl ready for whisking. It's important to use a glass bowl at this stage. To separate the egg, hold the egg in the palm of your hand, one hard sharp crack and then pull the egg apart gently, catching the egg yolk in one side, draining off the egg, yolk, egg white and then transfer it across again, draining off the egg white and you're left with just the egg yolk inside your shell. checking there is nothing in there and then popping that into our glass bowl ready for whisking. Using the whisk safely, make sure the whisk is plugged in but not switched on at the wall. Make sure your blades are in and they are secure and then when you're ready to use it, switch it on at the wall. Before starting, make sure your blades are placed in the base of the glass bowl. Then turn it onto a low speed. Don't rush it as this will spoil the foam. We should always use a glass or a metal bowl as plastic will hold onto fats and we know that fats will prevent our foam from forming. We're aiming to create a foam. This is where a gas is spread throughout a liquid. Whisking it produces a gas and liquid foam. The action of whisking denatures the proteins through the mechanical action of the blades. Unravelling the proteins and allowing tiny air bubbles to be incorporated into the egg white to form the foam. Gently increase the speed of the blade once the foam is beginning to form. Denaturing is reversible when making meringues. If the foam is left to stand, it will revert back to egg whites. If mechanical action is used, the egg whites will eventually form soft peaks, creating a foam. But be careful not to over whisk the egg whites as this will cause them to go to a greeny consistency. To achieve a perfect foam, the egg whites should be formed in soft peaks. If you lift the bowl, you should be able to turn the bowl upside down and the foam should not move. formation is when a gas is spread throughout a liquid. Whisking eggs produces a gas and liquid foam. Whisking denatures the protein, unravelling the proteins and allowing tiny air bubbles to be incorporated into the egg white to form a foam. Denaturing, however, is also reversible because if this foam was left to stand, it would go back into the egg white. Next is to add in the sugar. We're going to gradually add in the sugar and whisk it a little at a time.
produced a nice glossy meringue which is a nice foam structure. The sugar is going to add the keeping qualities and also going to add flavour. Now it's time for piping. We're going to place the meringue into the piping bag. Then we're going to squeeze down the mixture to the end and then we're going to twist the piping bag to create pressure. You're then going to use this part of your hand here to apply the pressure. This other hand is going to guide the shape and then we are just going to create nice meringue shapes. Again to create the pressure we're going to squeeze and guide. And there are our meringues ready to go into the oven. Remember to preheat your oven before using it. The meringues need to be baked at a low temperature of 150 degrees centigrade. If the temperature is too low, beads of liquid appear on the surface. This indicates the temperature is too low and the oven needs to be turned up slightly. When the time is up, do not remove them from the oven as this could cause them to crack. Instead, switch off the oven and open the door, allowing them to cool gradually. If the meringues are not in the oven long enough, the proteins will not have had enough time to coagulate and set. Therefore, if you take them out too soon, the meringues will collapse as the structure has not been formed. A perfect meringue should be well shapen with a light golden colour and firm structure. Inside should be light. And there you have your meringues and the signs behind the foams.